can you reverse gray hair without having to color it? What do you think? Well, first of all, let's talk about what gray hair is, okay. and then we'll talk about what we can do about it. So gray hair happens, normally your, your hair is, is painted by uh, little, little oil cells next to it. And over time, hydrogen peroxide washes those out, so you stop giving the pigment to the hair. What happens though, and the reason you see it so much earlier in some people than others, is you begin to lose all your hair. So the few gray ones that are remaining are much more visible. Uh -huh. So 40% of women, 80% of men, have problems with hair loss over the course of their lives. And when that starts to happen in the 40s and 50s, then you can do things to change the amount of hair you have so the amount of grays aren't nearly so visible. That stated, uh, there are a few things we recommend for gray hair purely. For example, argon oil I like a lot. Uh, and it's never been shown to actually reverse gray hair, but it allows the hair that you have, even if it's gray, to have the right texture to it. Because when the gray hair becomes wiry and stringy, it, it sort of points itself up in the air and says, hey, I'm here, look at me. <laughs> Poor Kate Middleton, she has two, literally two gray hairs. Right. I didn't Poor get thing. that story at yeah. all. Come on, two it's gray terrible. hairs. It could have pulled both of them if you wouldn't have messed up. <laughs> right. But at a certain point, if you, you, know, if you lost you know, a third of your regular hair, the gray hairs become seemingly much more prominent. That's why people get gray overnight. They actually are losing some hair. So like oh, our wow. presidents, it seems like every president yes. that goes into office, we say, my gosh, look at how much they've grayed That's over the 48 studied, years. Actually. It's been studied, stress, I think, although again, it's mostly anecdotal, it does seem to cause grayness, mostly if it's genetic. Uh, but if you can do things to maintain the amount of hair you have and the quality of that hair, the gray becomes much less of a problem. So for example, women, I, I don't know why they don't. If they start to notice hair loss, things like minoxid will really work well. These are over-the-counter medications now that you can take to help with this. Uh, there are other things you should be looking at, uh, for example, hormonal issues, thyroid disease in particular. It's a simple blood test. It's so easy to treat if you've got the problem. It keeps the hair you have remaining looking beautiful and bountiful uh, with some body. And so if you do happen to have some gray, it won't be nearly so obvious. So it sounds like a lot of what you're saying is it's not so much the gray. If you just keep the other hair healthy around it, you're going to be in much better shape. Yeah, because you, you can cover gray up so easily, right? You can mascara for short term. The dyes work great, and they're, they're not dangerous. So the things you can do cosmetically, but if you don't have a lot of hair, you can do much less with it. So mm -hmm. focus on the right things. You mentioned the oil earlier. What is it called again? Argon oil, A-R-G-O-N. Make sure, please, we didn't get this stuff. Make sure it's 100%. You don't okay. want a lot of additives to it. And people cheat you. They'll put you know, 2% of the stuff in there. Get 100% argon oil. It's been used for, in many countries for centuries. Uh, and it, it's, it seems to give a lot more body to hair. And you just wash your hair with it or apply it? Or what do you do you with it? You can apply it after, as in place of a moisturizer. Uh, oh. You can wash it out. Or, you know, people use it in very different ways. I tell you, I talk about it a fair amount on the show because many of the beauty experts I bring on to talk about hair, at the end of what they're saying, when you sort of ask, well, what do you do personally? They say, well, well I use the argon oil. Uh, so, <laughs> after everything else. What, what I learned as a doctor is the most important thing I hear is the last thing the patient says. Right? As they're leaving the doors, oh, oh, one last thing about the, and that's what you want to hear. That's yeah. what they keep to talk about. Everything else was just filler. Yeah, and you heard him say, I'm going to go out and buy it today. Get that after the show. Okay? I'm all over this.